It will be next week before a federal judge could rule on the Justice Department's lawsuit against Texas over the border buoys in the Rio Grande. The state defended itself at a hearing in Austin, saying that it's a legal measure to curb illegal immigration. The Department of Justice argues the floating barrier was put up without a permit in violation of federal and international law. Fox 4's Rudy Kosky reports from Austin. The floating barrier in the Rio Grande near Eagle Pass is a thousand feet long. This barrier was moved closer to the Texas side of the river this past weekend. It was in response to disputed claims that part of it was on the Mexican side of the border. Attorneys with the Department of Justice were in Austin asking a federal judge to issue an injunction to stop the construction of the system. Before the hearing was held, supporters of that lawsuit made it clear they want all of the buoys out of the water. We keep throwing money at Operation Lone Star, and it's not changing anything. We need to invest in humane solutions to keep both citizens and immigrants safe. The primary witness for the Department of Justice was Joseph Shelnut, a compliance officer with the Army Corps of Engineers. Shelnut testified that the state didn't get a permit from the federal agency to install the floating barrier, and in his opinion, the buoys violate the Federal Rivers and Harbor Act. He called them an obstruction to navigation because the system creates a problem for people trying to cross from the Mexican side of the border to the U.S. Governor Greg Abbott Monday defended his border strategy while giving a delegation of Republican governors a tour of the border. Altogether, if you add in the other states that are supporting this mission, 25 governors in 25 states, half of the states of the United States of America are banding together to step up and secure a border that President Biden has abandoned. Attorneys for the governor during the hearing pointed out that documents filed by the Department of Justice actually helped their argument. According to a 1975 study by the Corps of Engineers, navigation is not practical in the area where the buoys are located. The argument over that assessment is at the core of the hearing. The judge indicating a ruling from him may not come until next week. Rudy Kosky, Fox 4 News.